In this lesson, we're going to be learning LaGrange by ZZ Top. Uh, cool rock and roll blues um, riff. Um, it's just really like three parts. Um, not a whole lot to it. A lot of soloing um, over um, a couple different... It's the same riff throughout. It changes keys. So it's in A. It's in the key of A. You got two versions of this riff in the key of A. You got the opening um, intro, more of a clean tone. And you might want to finger pick this because of the staccato nature of it. So we have a two hits right off the top to start the groove. So I'm, I'm, I'm making like an A chord here, but I'm only picking the D and G strings. So I got the two initial hits and then four um, quarter notes, oh, I'm sorry, eighth notes after that. Just like that. So I'm picking it. I mean, you can pick it with a pick. I like the sound of the fingers because of, you can kind of snap at the strings a little bit. It's just a little bit different tone that I think works better, <clears throat> excuse me, for this intro part. Okay, so you have that. Now you have this little riff, and it's thumb. This is another reason I like to uh, finger pick the intro. Thumb on the open A, five on the D string, then open A again, then five on the G string, then open A again, then the uh, five on the G string again, but you're gonna hit the D and G strings together. And then bend that five just a little bit and then to two, the twos. So it's. So one thing to note as you're repeating this lick is that <clears throat> The first time when you hit these twos back to back, okay, the at the end of the riff, the, that serves as that same function. It starts the next bar as those two eighth notes back to back without the rest in between. So that serves the same function as far as time and rhythm as the how we start it. So you, the only time you really do that is at the very beginning. That. Every other time it's so it's and at some point, I don't know exactly how many times he plays it, it stops <coughs> uh, doing that and does. Let's see, you do that one, two, three, three times. On the fourth, then it switches to. So now it's three, five on the A string. And then there's three sequ sequential eighth notes, so. Da, da, da. Okay, that's when he starts coming in with the vocal, I believe. So, you know, in uh, real time or up to the tempo, it's... At some point it stops and you have the drum fill and then the whole band kicks in. So then when the band kicks in, 
you know, that now would be the time to maybe turn on some gain. Um, and you can go to using a pick probably. And it's the same exact riff as that second part where the vocals come in in the intro. Now I'm doing upstrokes because of the way the eighth notes fall. Um, so down, up, 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 down, 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 uh, C. So it's down, down, up, down, up to start the next thing. Down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up at the end. Now, if you bump the open A string as you're playing these chords, that's fine. I actually think it sounds a little better that way. Whoops. Now at some point that makes a hard stop, another drum fill, and the whole thing switches to C. So to play in C, it's the same exact riff. You can't play the open A now because we're in C. So it's five on the D, five on the G. Six, eight. Everything else is exactly the same. Now this is a guitar solo here. Now it's, if you want to solo over it, It'd be C blue scale is mainly what he's using. Maybe a little bit of like a major pentatonic sum in there. It's something, it's a cool jam to experiment with. Put on the record and play along. If you guys want to do the solo, um, request it. Um, we can probably work that out. It's pretty long. It's a 16 bar solo. Now coming out of that solo, there's this riff. And then it goes back to the intro. That little thing. I'm doing a little hybrid picking here with my pick and my fingers. You don't have to. I like to use my pick and third or second finger. So it's five on the D, five on the E string. Then you move just your first finger back to four, keep your third finger there. Then three. So it's. Then we have power chord, A power chord. Three, four, to two on the G string. That's it. That's all the parts to the song. Um, later, they go into a it goes into a breakdown again, like the intro, and then I think they come back in, and it's a, another solo over the A chord changes. So it, so then it'd be A blues scale. It's a jam over that one. So. That's LaGrange by ZZ Top.